Doctor Who in the Drinks Trolley, Season 2, Episode 1. I'm Pierre. And I'm Vivian. Hello, Vivian. Hi. Today's featured beverage is... The Vivian. So Vivian, what story would you like to talk about today? We will talk about Doctor Who, The Seeds of Doom, broadcast in 1976 and written by Robert Banks Stewart. Today's episode stars Tom Baker as the fourth Doctor and Elizabeth Sladen as Sarah Jane Smith. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Our story opens in Antarctica, where Winlet Played by John Gleason and Moberly, played by Michael McStay, discover a pod in the permafrost. They take it back to camp where botanist John Stevenson, played by Hubert Rees, claims it's 20,000 years old. 20,000 years ago, much of the earth was covered in ice. In London, at the World Ecology Bureau, Richard Dunbar, played by Kenneth Gilbert, shows the doctor photos of the pod. The doctor warns no one must touch the pod before he gets there. No touch pod. In the Antarctic, they touch the pod. <laughs> <laughs> of course they do. In London, Dunbar meets with eccentric millionaire Harrison Chase, played by Tony Batley. Chase sends henchman Scorby Played by John Chalice. And botanist Keeler. Played by Mark Jones. Meanwhile, in the Antarctic, the pod opens and stings Winlet, covering him in green hives. The doctor and Sarah arrive by helicopter. That's weird. Helicopter? The whiz bang must be on the Brits again. <laughs> We find Winlet covered in what now looks like green fungus. The doctor goes outside and digs up another pod. Apparently, they travel in pairs. The doctor tells Sarah that Winlet is turning into a crime lord. Scorby and Keeler arrive pretending to be lost. Morbally is killed by the Winlet crime lord, mm. who runs outside to the generator. Scorby steals the pod, ties Sarah to a post in the generator room, sets a time bomb, and escapes with Keeler in their plane. The doctor saves Sarah from the explosion. Scorby and Keeler bring the pod to chase, but Dunbar warns them the doctor and Sarah are still alive. They will meet with Dunbar and Sir Colin, who is played by Michael. Barrington. The doctor and Sarah explain the theft of the pod. Someone in this department must have leaked the information. Mm -hmm. They asked to be taken to the Botanic Institute. The Botanic Institute of South London mm -hmm. was founded in 1910 by Alan Octavian Beale. On their way out, a driver greets them with a limousine. It is a Daimler DS420 limousine, which was manufactured from 1968 to 1992 and is still used by the royal house. They are taken to a deserted country road where the driver points a gun at them and tells them to get out of the car. The doctor jumps him and punches his lights out. They search the car and find a painting in the boot. It's by Amelia Ducat. Played by Sylvia Coolidge. When they visit her, she tells them the owner of the painting is Harrison Chase, the millionaire. And he never paid for it. What a cheap state. Let's have another drink before heading out to Mr. Chase's house. Mr. Fancy Plates. <laughs> <laughs> The 
doctor and Sarah go to the mansion and the Daimler they borrowed after beating up the driver. They are soon captured and taken to chase. He takes him on a grand tour of his plant laboratory. In his green cathedral, he plays the hymn of the plants and his Florida Yellow Records. Scorby takes him outside to kill them, but they overpower him and get away. Sarah gets caught again. And this time she's taken to Chase because he's going to use her in his experiment. She is held in front of the pod as it starts to open. The doctor watches through a skylight. He heroically crashes through the glass, saving Sarah and getting away. In the commotion, the pod opens, singing Killer's arm. He starts transforming before Chase's eyes. Chase is erasing. Keeler is not too happy about it. They sort of walk while well, sort of like half drag him to a cottage. He looks like he has had too many videos. <laughs> Tie him to a bed, feed him, and watch him transform. The doctor returns to the laboratory and is recaptured by Scorby. He takes him to the compost room and bullies him. Amelia is at the main gate and insists on seeing Chase. She wants her money. He has her brought to the library where he writes her a check. Scorby interrupts to tell him that the compost experiment is ready. He has Scooby show Amelia out. Sarah has sneaked back into the house. She pests Amelia from behind a suit of armor like this. She explains the situation to Amelia, who goes back to the car where Dunbar and Sir Coppin are waiting. Dunbar takes it upon himself to try to salvage the situation. Two-timer. If he's not back soon, they're going to call a unit. Yay! He pleads with Chase to see sense and stop the experiments. Chase refuses. Sarah turns off the crusher just in time to save the doctor. Hargreaves finds Keeler fully transforminated. Keeler crinoid breaks free and goes to the guards. Dunbar goes for help but is pursued by Scorby. Sarah and the doctor discover that Keeler crinoid is missing. Dunbar runs into the crinoid, his dying screams are heard by Scooby and the gang. Who shoot at the crinoid? And the doctor and Sarah Jane. Who swings a giant sword at the plant? They barricade themselves in the cottage. Killer Crinoid demands the doctor come out and play, and it will not hurt the others. Yeah, right. The doctor does not believe this. Scorby throws a Molotov cocktail at him. The Molotov cocktail is any of a variety of bottle-based improvised explosive weapons. It gives the doctor enough time to get back to the car and take off. The others return to the main house. Back at his office, Sir Colin calls unit. Amelia wants to make up a code word. Operation Not <laughs> She tells her Colin, consider me available for future assignments. Oh man, that was an invitation for a spin-off. The Amelia Ducat Mysteries. I'd watch that. Me too. Chase is outside taking pictures. The doctor, Sir Colin and Major Beresford, played by John Axon, gather at Sir Colin's office. There's a list of people that have been killed by plants near Chase's house. Chase goes to the greenhouse to talk to his plants. Sarah, Scorby, and Hargreaves try to talk some sense into him. They won't listen. He is possessed by the climate. The doctor is back with Sergeant Henderson. Played by Ray Bierman. Sarah, Scorby, and Hargreaves are attacked by vines. Chase shows out, all plant eaters must die. 
The doctor and Henderson burst into spraying military grade defoliant and freeing Sarah and Scorby. It was too late for poor Hargreaves. Evil Chase walks them all out of the house as the killer crinoid advances on them. Major Beresford and a team of human soldiers set up the laser rifle. Just in the nick of time, too. The crime wave smashes its way into the lab. Anderson goes looking for more timber. Chase knocks him on the head with a cartoonly large spanner. <laughs> He throws the unconscious sergeant into the crusher. Crunch, splat, ew. Scorby makes a run for it, but is drowned in the pond and the vines pulled him under. He was a real negative influence on the group. Just saying. Sarah looks for Henderson. Oh, she goes into the crusher room. Look out! Chase is behind the door! Off screen, he punches her legs out. Throws her in the crusher too. They only have 15 minutes before the crime rate germinates, spreading its seeds all across England. Gonna have to launch an airstrike before it's too late. The doctor goes to the compost room and saves Sarah again. In the chaos, Chase is crushed and turned into compost. He is sent to the cornfield. Sent to the cornfield? Oh, yeah, make a sighting. Dodger breaks off a pipe and shoots steam out the door at the plants. They run through the aggressive vegetation as the air blows up the crinoid. Toss salad everywhere. He <laughs> <laughs> asks for Colin to come with him, but he says no. Just as well, they end up in the Antarctic. By the TARDIS, this is... Nobody fix the wind bang. <laughs> <laughs> the Doctor and Sarah Jane are off on new adventures. That's it for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That is what the Doctor would do. Now let us know what Doctor Who stories you'd like us to discuss in future episodes in the comment section down below. Join us next time for Cuba Libre and Doctor Who Carnival of Monsters. I'm Pierre. And I am Vivian. See you, you next time. time.